so it's gonna be a hard one. Yo, you guys give me a hard time, huh? And it's on the rock. There we go, guys. Morning guys, uh, day two today. Yesterday wasn't such a good day fishing for me. Um, I only got a lesser. My dad got a bronzy, uncle got a bronzy and a shad. Um, yesterday the water was very flat. So I didn't spot that some working water and today it's a, we're taking the same story. Flat, flat, flat. Everywhere I look it's flat. So today I'm gonna target some uh, shad first. See some guys fishing there. Just waiting to see if they they're catching any shad. I was gonna walk a little bit further down and try. I saw them catching shad there yesterday. And then uh, we'll move on to bronzes. Hopefully. But yeah, this is what the ocean looks like today. Flat. Now with bronze cream, you need an upside down sea. You need a uh, it needs to be rough, you know, that can't be flat. Perfect conditions is the worst conditions. So, but the uh, fish will be dealt with. I'm a bit late today, I battle to, to wake up. We're here, nice and cold in the morning, the winter's morning. Boats there in the back line. So the guys, it might be a change of plan. Yeah. What they're meant to fish the shed, so it's full. Besides that, uh, there's no shed coming out there. I should have actually just stuck in the first spot where I saw a shed coming out. Uh, but yeah, I didn't even bring a rod stand today. Maybe I could throw a shed bait while I was fishing with bronzies. Just leave it on the stand or something. But, in any case, Let's just walk and see where the, the sand takes us. Yeah, guys, quiet. Okay, so let me show you how I make my shed bait. We'll throw a small bait, small red eye bait. Okay, so basically guys, this is my red eye bait. Cut the tail out, angle. Okay. A bit frozen. In any case. I'm gonna try and cut along the spine here. Try not to go completely through. So all I did was split the red eye in half. Ooh. I got two hooks. Tail down. So the first hook, as you can see, is facing up. Second hook is actually facing down. Hey, that's what it looks like. I'll try to jam it in between here. 
Okay. So first we're gonna cut in the back. Okay. Just we'll stop the hook from moving forward. Put enough cotton here. Okay. Make sure the hooks are nicely placed in. Cut in the second hook so it doesn't move. Keep cutting this. Keep cutting this entire thing. One two slits here. Just so the cotton grabs on along the head. The head is tough. Swivel is here, hold the swivel, try and button the swivel into the into the red eye. Keep buttoning. Okay, that's about it. My shad baits. Not a big bait, but uh Decent looking, a we'll flash silver in the water. And the shed obviously is chasing something silver. I think it's a pretty good uh, representation of, uh, of an actual red eye in the water or close enough to a sardine in the water. Cotton obviously disappear quite a bit in the water. Yeah, okay, guys, my shed fit. Let's go and catch a shed. I'll try to. Quick bait presentation. These are the prawns I bought from Township um, a while back. This is my third fishing trip, or second fishing trip with the prawns. Actually, not bad at all. Go a little bit further down this time. I was going to do a quick bait presentation for you guys. Cracker is not that grand. He is uh, okay. three days old now. So, yeah. Hopefully this lens, is, this lens off. You guys can see a little better. Okay, I hope that's a lot clearer. So guys, I butterfly the prawn, as you can see, wrap this up, button. Water is dropping quite fast, so I don't have a lot of time. Let's just add my bag, pour it down, in any case. Hook is exposed nicely. Back on top. Cacker covers the hook slightly, but uh, it's still exposed.
Okay, so that's that. Let's catch a fish. over to my bronzy stuff getting a few small bites but some action you know hopefully the bronzy will come for me flat yesterday unfortunately I didn't get any bronzy uh, I got a lesser that's about it. Feels like a black tail. Give me a few bites here. But hopefully we'll get a, a bronze soon guys and uh, I'll be able to show you guys. Cool. There we go one guys. Oh yeah, bronzy. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be a hard one. That's giving me a hard time, huh? And it's on the rock. There we go, guys. Oh, the double off guys the silver and a bronzy okay there we go guys our first bronzy for the day and a solar room. Unfortunately, I gripped, uh, gripped the bronzy in the throat. I am keeping it anyways. Uh, one of the hooks. Epic there. I hope you guys can see. And on. Nice fish, maybe a two and a half, three kilos. Okay, that took the took the prawn, eh?
guys found a small shrimp. Oops. Grab him again. No. Show you guys without him jumping. Look at this guy. Not sure what type of shrimp it is. Cool guy. Oh. Yo, I lost a beautiful fish now, guys. Unfortunately, guys, uh, I lost a nice uh, fish. Not too sure what it was. Should have been a big bronzy. Uh, pulled me flat. And I hit, uh, felt it there. I had a couple of wines and it just came off. But anyway, it's good to fishing here. We're trying. Don't really get any bites now. So maybe it was a bronze. It's gonna scare the fish away. Yeah, guys. Keep fishing. I hope for the best. This is my new Jatic CD 8000. Still yet to get a fish on it. I thought that was gonna be my first fish. Yeah, guys. There we go, guys. One of the fish here. I don't know what it is. Kilo fish, kilo and a half, something. Huh? Can't hear you? No, this is a stone broom. Yeah. Yeah, this is a different fish. and a little bit I don't know what that's called but probably just over half a kilo maybe a kilo and battling but uh, gone 